Hey Pisces Seekers, welcome back to the Existential Shift. If you're new, my name is Morgane. Whew, September. You know, technically it's your Earth birthday. Because when the Sun is in Virgo, Earth is in Pisces. I have this theory where our zodiac signs are actually you know, determined by the Earth sign. So if you're Pisces, you're actually a Virgo. If you're in Virgo, you're actually Pisces. Because you weren't born on the sun, not in this lifetime anyway, you were born on Earth. But let's not complicate this. Either way, we know that within Pisces there is a Virgo, and vice versa. And that applies to all the zodiac scales. You know what? It doesn't even matter. You're a seeker. Pisces Sun, Pisces Moon, Pisces Rising, any other placement. The other aspects of your chart are also you. So who are we really by so-called definition? If within my sign sign there's also the other sign, if also other aspects of my chart, should I even refer to myself as something specific? Who is it for? Is it for me to know who and what I am, or is it for you to place yourself in relation to me? Pisces, this is exactly the type of thinking that you are able to entertain and even live by. Not everyone are capable of living by their or by philosophy in general. It's a big difference between theory and living by it but you you flow right into it oh okay so i'm not any specific sign i'm all of it okay cool and you just morph into it talk like that act like that decide from it you are a natural shapeshifter So how can you use that for your advantage in general, but especially in the next season? Well, a lot is going to change. The fool. Everything is possible. Surprises left and right. In your private life, in your environment, Uranus in Taurus is shaking the earth and changing it and ourselves with it inevitably because we depend on it. And you is a sign that is a natural empath. It just kind of feels it all. You also change with it. So use your shape-shifting natural skills to have fun, to look at the big picture, to think, what good is this for? What am I missing right now from my subjective current perspective? It might be really, really great in the long run. There's so many possibilities for you right now, Pisces. So many potential new beginnings, so many different direct direction to take to take, I'm sorry, directions to take. And it can serve as a challenge. Most of us, you know, we need the guidance, we need the structure. Even if it's the structure of karma. Karmic debts what it is that I'm meant to go through right now or meant to do right now. We all want to know what is my destiny? What am I meant to do? What if it's not a question? What if it's an answer that you ought to give yourself? What if right now this is a time for you to determine 
your destiny, to determine your next phase. And it doesn't depend. I'm picking up that for some of you, your karmic ties are done. Wherever you're at right now is because you either choose to or not choose to. You're no longer bound. You don't have to be there. You don't have to be anywhere. Where do you want to be? Where would you like to be? What would you like to do? What if there were no restrictions? Not physical, not emotional, not spiritual, not energetic, not karmic. If you were to sit with yourself and wonder about the possibilities that are presented to you and simply come up with what is the thing you would like to do most in an ideal world where you simply can. Five of Swords, King of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles. Fitting. Five of Swords, you can sit on the fence and get all confused with the possibilities and ask a million questions. Or well, what am I supposed to decide? What should I do? Or King of Pentacles, you can take leadership and responsibility over your own life from a place that knows yourself and what it is that you want, or at least mix it up along the way and makes a clear decision based on it. But here's the catch. You've got to make a decision. You've got to choose a path and walk it. And then you'll know. But don't let the possibilities confuse you. This is a clean slate. A blank canvas. And you are the painter. You are the creator. Some of you are going to receive a great opportunity that is financial, that is work oriented. It will allow you to express your knowledge, your skill, your leadership. Is it something that you want to do? Yes, that's your answer. Go for it. Is it something you don't really want to do? No, that's your answer. Don't go for it. Can you see me? Really strong sun. Hello. Oh well, I can't see you at all. Like the screen is completely blinded by I'm blinded by the sun right now. This opportunity can be a gold mine for you. It can bring money, it can bring status. Show me more for Pisces, please. Five of Cups, and you don't know what to do with it, it confuses you. You're thinking there must be a catch. What if it's not what I'm meant to do? I told you. Clean canvas. You're at a point in your life where you determine what it is you are meant to do. Even those of us who are super bound by our, by our karma and our charts and so on, it's your own higher self that determined it for coming into this lifetime. You can negotiate with yourself. Like, hey, you know, when we were a little bit before we were born, that seemed like a good idea, but I'm starting to think that maybe, eh, maybe, maybe, maybe enough. Enough of that cycle, enough of that lesson, enough of this direction. Maybe you want to reincarnate within the same incarnation. Five of Swords, Five of Cups. You have all the opportunity in the world to sabotage everything I'm saying, get all confused and rattled and just allow things to happen. If you'll be a leaf blown in the wind in this coming month, the wind will bury you. You see what goes on out there. 
Do you really want to mess with the wind right now? Being a shapeshifter doesn't mean let it be. Sometimes, in other situations, other signs, other times. Not now, not for you. The shapeshifting is crafted, created, guided, initiated by you. You decide. You are the narrator and the lead and the writer and the director. Are you seeing like just the white round thing? Can you see my map? As long as you can hear me. Show me more for this coming month for Pisces. Or in my existential shift astrology, Earth Virgo. Whatever. You're like, t t don't confuse me any more than I'm already confused. You're not confused. You're acting confused. What's the difference? Okay. Two of Swords. Some of you are not listening. Some of you want someone to tell them what to do, where to go, what's what's the divine plan, what you should be doing. I, I'm not. I'm not, not going to sit here and convince you. Page of Pentacles, and some of you are listening. Some of you are learning. Some of you are tapping into your power of manifestation from the earth element. Oh, hey, now I can see. Some of you acknowledge that your inability to make decisions so far came from escapism, not from waiting for a sign, from fear. And you're deciding to reconstruct yourself. That is something formless, because shape shifter shifts shape. There's still shape involved. It's not formless. It just wears different forms. It reconstructs itself in different constructs. And you're learning the difference between that and being formless. More please with Pisces and the beautiful Piscean seekers. My healers, my creatives, my philosophers. They're gorgeous. The page of swords in the reverse. Is someone toxic around you? Page of Swords can be an air sign, but don't be stuck on the element. It could be someone that is stuck in the mind, overthinks, and sabotage. Um, there's an element of dissecting the big picture into so many into bits and pieces in a way that is um, mentally OCD, but it's it's exhausting. So someone around you is exhausting to you. They either talk endlessly about one thing, repetitively, obsessively, um, or they're just not, or they have, or it's the complete opposite, they have no common sense, it's like, you're trying to reason with them and it's like, and they go into this chatter, I'm picking up on endless chatter, mind chatter, verbal chatter, it's like
and the, what the messages get misconstrued, like something that is said is being interpreted in a completely other way. So maybe you're saying something to them and then they take it completely the wrong way through so many filters of their own you know, mind chatter. Um, I'm sorry, I have to take down the blinders. I just I can't see I can't see anything. <laughs> Hold on. That's better. Whew. Hello. So yeah, the communication is challenging. A lot of bickering, a lot of arguments over things that you're like, how, what? You say A and they read B and B is somewhat somehow evil. And it's like, even if I'd said B, B is not that bad. You just said you didn't say B. No, I didn't say B. I said A, but what's the problem with B? It's like there's just so much unnecessary drama. And there's also someone who might be um, spying a little bit, like checking you on everything. That took a turn. And Knight of Swords in the reverse as well. So we have Page and Knight of Swords both in the reverse. Uh, a lot of arguments. And also this could be very passive aggressive. Like it's not in your face shouting, but it's like it's very sarcastic. It's very um, venom and picking up on venomous words. Or um, there could be like silent treatment, like going from non-stop chattering to just not talking at all. Temperance. And you really, really want some harmony and peace of mind. So this individual um, needs a lot of healing to their psyche. Um, they really need to step out of the chaotic jungle out there when we spend some time in nature um, but this is not something temporary or moody this is character aspects of how this person deals with things like that um, and also it feels like someone is expecting you or you're expecting of yourself or the other way around uh, to make an impossible possible, like to make something that is just like two very different material kind of come together and work together when it's just when it, it keeps repel the materials just keep repelling each other. more for Pisces, please. For this coming month. Wow, so many, so many court cards. Another page, page of cups and page of wands. So we have all the pages on the table. Uh, Princess of Pentacles, Princess of Swords, Princess of Cups, and Princess of Wands, which in the... Um, Golden Dawn Tarot, it's the pages. Cool. And we have a king and a knight. It's like a lot of people are involved. A lot of people have a say in this. I don't know if it's friends, family members, um, co-workers even. Like this person talks about the situation with everyone. And you're like, but does everyone have to be involved? Does everyone have to know my personal business, our personal business, your personal? And it's like everyone has a say and it. it doesn't feel like a mature say. It feels like a lot of teenagers talking 
and this king of pentacles is like from a place of experience and and groundedness is like no that, yes it sounds great in theory and philosophy but that doesn't really apply or no that wouldn't work or you're trying to like mix oil and water and it's just oh but everything is possible it can be and even though it's something like a shadow pisces might say in ways of like not dealing with reality and escaping i don't think this is you pisces i think this is whoever it is you're dealing with i mean if you're a cross watcher it could be the pisces any anyway. world card at the bottom of the deck right after the page of wands so there might be traveling involved or some sort of um Trip, vacation, expansion. Something about December, the month of December is coming up. Show me more, please, for Pisces. Three of Wands in the reverse. It's like. Before that, it was at the bottom of the deck. I didn't take it out, but now it flipped over. So, three of ones in the reverse and, and the world, or the universe in this deck. Um, a lot is going to change in the next three months. Like some sort of a direction you thought it was going to be, in, going to go in a specific way, it's going to go in a different way. As I said, a lot of surprises in the next month. A lot of changes. Um, it's all meant to put you on your track. Your tra track. In your heart, right? It's also guided by your higher self. This is not against your destiny or against your higher self. Your higher self wants you to develop this independence and self-knowing and initiative when it comes to where you go and what you decide and what you choose we keep talking about freedoms and we are so not free even in the spiritual community well what am i meant to do or what am i supposed to do or what is my destiny what does my chart say what is... it's all just guidance you could decide one step after the other what is your destiny okay and even when we're bound by karma we get to decide are we going to get through this in one cycle or is it going to take us a hundred cycles you have a say in it right are you going to take the short route or are you going to take the long route you have a say in it But here, it's like you're retracting a say. You, you, it's three of wands in the reverse. It's, it's a, there was a clear direction that you thought you were headed toward. But it gets reversed, I want to say. And in the world card, you know, I feel like there's a sense of looking at things from a way like we spoke about in the beginning from a higher perspective like thinking in the long run where do i want to be in a year in five years in ten years okay if this is where i want to be then these are the steps that make sense for me to take now and that's the guidance If you're here and you want to get there taking a step there won't make much sense unless that's what you want to do you know but figure out the direction and then the course will kind of set itself right Let's look at the cards now especially if this is love or whatever or this is love um, or if it's not love but regardless 
I'm going to continue this reading in your extended. And I'm going to focus on your love life. Okay, and we're going to take a look into you and your person of interest, you and your person. In the double pentagram spread, we're going to look into your minds, your hearts, your actions, and how how things actually unfold throughout the month of, um, of September, throughout this coming month. Okay, so here we have the three major arcanas. Here we have so many court cards. And one, two, three. And two fives. Yeah, a direction that reverses because of changes. Change of mind, change of heart, fluctuation. Very few of you, there's a lot of children involved. You can be a single parent who has a lot of kids and they're all just kind of, some of them are helping you out, some of them are possibly being rebellious and having some challenges at school maybe, maybe you have a child that has uh, learning uh, difficulties. They, re they require a lot of energy to, um, a lot of, you know, they need to take out a lot of energy, physical energy. So if you give them medication to calm them down instead of giving them an outlet like sports or travel or hiking, that it can make their mind really kind of lose focus and blurry. So the, maybe better to, you know, give them experiences, take them out, visit places, ride horses, hike, all that, rock climbing, all of that. It will set their mind straight, it will give them a healthy outlet, martial arts, whatever. They might have siblings that are very supportive and trying to encourage them, but they also need direction, directing. There is or was something in your life that seemed very, very stable, but there are, there were, or there are things that you're not aware of, that you've been in denial of, or there were, there, there were red flags, you've ignored them, um, you tried to force it into working or being your path, but it's just, it, it might slip through your fingers. I'm not surprising you, this is, this has been a long time coming uh, for some of you that this applies to. The good, news, the good news is is that we have the Fool in the first card and the and the World, the last card, and a lot of balance in the middle. Um, this is a lot of truth coming to, you're coming to truth, oh my gosh, you're coming to terms with a lot of truth. You're really opening up to yourself, to spirit, to being patient with yourself, to honoring yourself in the world and allowing yourself to be happy without forcing something to kind of listen so instead of being a leaf blown in the wind in the wind you're an observant who listens to the wind see where it howls towards and then be like okay is this where i want to go no is that where i want to go it's kind of gathering information from the elements with respect and then deciding what's the path and it's there's a lot of wisdom here so some of you are stepping up to a frequency of, of vast wisdom really and it will open up a new world for you to explore and there's a sense of healing and rejuvenation and physical freedom where you're able to go anywhere and you just need to decide. And some of you, you know, you're really stuck in a mechanism that you've been trying to, you know, fit a, fit a triangle into a round hole.
Okay, guys, I will continue this focusing on love and the extent right now. Links are below. We will finish up with messages from the Celtic runes. It's available on Vimeo and on Patreon. Perfect time to join Patreon, uh, where you'll have all the extendeds for unlimited streaming, not just of this season, but past seasons as well. You can go back in time and stream any signs from whatever time, from whatever timeline. Um, tarot Masterclass Bunka. If you want to study tarot while undergoing a shamanic and spiritual journey with me, check out Tarot Masterclass Bunka. Link is below. 90 pre-recorded classes, an online course that I've created. Exceptionally wholesome. Okay, great journey. Um, I've been guided to give a very significant discount. It's more than 50% off. Now it's temporary. I will not keep it like that. Okay. Um, so check it out. You can, I'm going to link specifically just the class that you can uh, rent separately, the, unit, the World Temperance and the Fool as Spiritual Homework for this coming month, learning about their, um, their, inter their true interpretations and their secret applications. So if you, you can, you know, you can have one of them or three of them, whatever, and then figure out if you want the entire thing. You can have a, you can have a, a taste. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you in a second. I love you guys. If you're new, subscribe to my channel. Um, God, this is a long ending. I'm sorry. If you're new, subscribe to my channel. If you want to receive notifications, press the bell button. If you do not want to receive notifications, do not press it because then it will just be annoying, right? But if you want to know when I post a new video, uh, have your um, notification settings turned on and press the bell button. Um, also, just a moment to thank my patrons and my channel members. I really, really appreciate your support. Uh, you make this possible. So thank you. I'll see you soon.